Grace and peace to you members of our prayer group here at West Parish of Barnstable. If you're watching this, you signed on to be part of our prayer group here at West Parish, and I'm so glad you did. You've committed yourself to the discipline of prayer as together we hold up the needs of the world, everyone, in prayer. If you have specific prayer concerns or celebrations you would like included next week, email me and I'll add them in. By way of prayer concerns and celebrations this week, uh, starting off with Rob Moberg, he has told us that we can take Kim's niece, Lauren, off the prayer list as she's made it through her bout with COVID and is back to work. Hallelujah. Bob Longcart continues to suffer from rapidly progressing ALS and now has difficulty swallowing. And there are discussions about surgically implanting a feeding tube. Georgia is very tired, so let's keep both, both of them in our prayers. We found out that Fran Dixon died last February. She had moved away to upstate New York, and we're not sure why we were not notified. But let us commend Fran to God's eternal care. She was a lovely, lovely person and a good knitter as well. And of course, while we are heartened by the decline in the COVID numbers, we still pray for ready access to the vaccine and continued compliance with safety protocols that this pandemic might be put behind us. Now, some people are visual learners and processes process images better than sounds, and through the ages, people have used art to help them pray. In the early church, biblical scenes were painted on the walls of catacombs. In medieval cathedrals, stained glass would be used to illustrate Bible stories, as well as to add an air of mystery to the interior of the building. In Orthodox churches, worshipers pray with the use of icons. With groups, and especially with youth, I have found that photographs can be quite helpful in prayer. I will lay out a group of photos and ask folk to choose which one speaks to them. They might then use it as a prompt to raise up to God a prayer for themselves or for others, whatever, however the Spirit moves. You might do the same sometime as, as, a, as an experiment. See if it works for you with a picture you see in the, in the paper or online. We will close with our prayer list accompanied by Joy in Domenico on a harp with a peace that is always in season, especially in dreary March, and especially with a warming trend set for this week. God bless you all, and God be with you till we meet again.